I do apologize. As I've explained before, it's a constant battle for Mr. Arataki with his mental instabilities. I know it's caused no end of problems for you, and I can assure you that he regularly... Good point. You know, I heard Yoriki Owada saying how the Arataki Gang's deputy has studied abroad and is well-versed in the law. I was wondering why someone with that much talent would choose to stay with the Arataki Gang. Here's the thing, though. We have solid evidence that those three were illegally posting flyers everywhere, and we've received a lot of complaints from members of the local community. I appreciate what you're saying, and everything. I'm just not sure I can let them off so easily. Oh, please accept my sincere apologies once again for all of that. Mamoru and the others probably believed that they would be able to reach more people in need this way. Unfortunately, they were so eager to help that they ended up causing more problems than they solved. The Arataki support group assumes full responsibility. We will work quickly to restore the clean and tidy living environment that the community quite rightly expects. But with only myself available, I'm afraid that it could take a very long time to remove all the flyers. Having their help would have made things much quicker. I'm just a little concerned that if progress is too slow, the complaints will only keep coming, which ultimately only makes more work for you and your colleagues. Uh, I... Uh, all right, fine. I'll go fetch them. But don't think I'm going to make a habit of this. Finally! We're saved! Hey! Hey! I knew Shinobu wouldn't abandon us! What up? The Arataki gang is back in town! <clears throat> Sorry. They're getting a little overexcited at the prospect of being able to serve the community. All right, guys. Make sure you get every last one of those flyers back, okay? And don't forget to apologize to the residents and ask for forgiveness. I assure you, there won't be any problems. Will there, guys? Uh, yes? No problems. We'll, we'll be sure to get the job done. <sighs> I really hope letting them go was the right decision. They better not cause any more trouble. All right then, Shinobu, we, uh, we'll go apologize then? Yeah, we better be quick, or... Not so fast. Ah! Last month, you almost got the fire brigade out when you were roasting lavender melons. Five days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? But we put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. No more excuses. You know, I had real plans at Uyu Restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah! Help! 
help! P -p please you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead. Don't feel sorry for them. They need to learn their lesson. Yes, yes! Shinobu, please just let us go apologize. If someone else complains, they'll only arrest us again. And, and then you'll be forced to help us out again. <sighs> I suppose I'll have to teach you a lesson later. So then. Where did you post all your flyers, hmm? Well, um, we left a few on the counter at Shimura's. We figured that people might take a look while they're eating. Also, the bulletin board at Tsukumomono Groceries. And, uh, also, uh, also, um... Just say it. Right, of course! Also, on the mountain path leading up to the Grand Norikami Shrine? We wanted to send the message. Why pray for the gods when you can call for the Arataki gang? But we only distributed a few before a terrifying fox lady appeared right behind us. Ah, don't make me relive the memory. Well, anyway, by the time we recovered our wits, we were already at the police station. We were actually pretty relieved to be there, under the circumstances. Yeah, because it meant we'd escaped from the fox lady. Huh? Shinobu, why are you looking at us like that? It looks like I need to knock some serious sense into you after all. You, you said it was just going to be a slap on the wrist! We've learned our lesson, honest! Help! No, anywhere but the shrine. Sh Shinobu, we're gonna go apologize to Kanbei now. Um, bye! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! And AoE too! Hey, wait up! Huh. I swear I've never seen them run that fast before. Uh, of all the places they could cause a scene, they just had to pick the shrine. I guess I'll have to suck it up and go sort this out. It's not that I don't know anyone there, it's just... <sighs> okay, fine. It'll probably go more smoothly with you there. The sooner this is over, the better. I don't want to spend a second longer at that place than I have to. Anyway, thank you for coming with me. Well, hello there, little one. Oh, I see you brought a special guest. <clears throat> Lady Guji, I'm here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang. We will remove all the flyers and compensate the shrine appropriately for any damages. I hope Lady Guji can forgive their appalling behavior. Huh, so that's why you're here. Yes. That is a tricky situation. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine, after all. Ultimately, their actions here are tantamount to disrespecting the Shogun herself. So how about this? I've already assigned a Shrine Maiden to clear up your little flyers, so at this moment we are a little understaffed at the Shrine. You mentioned appropriate compensation. Perhaps you could fill in for this Shrine Maiden and greet visitors for the day, hmm? I'm afraid I have to refuse. Oh? Such a hasty refusal. Do you think that's wise? Goodness, who knows what Tenshukaku would make of this if they heard about it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Very good. 
You've learned a lot since we last met. True. I could deal with most people if they tried to exploit my weakness. Just not her. <sighs> okay, I'll be a shrine maiden for a day. But let me be clear that this is for one day only. And one time only. Also, I'm not wearing a shrine maiden's outfit. Not happening. Oh, well, that's a shame. Hey, not you too! <laughs> that settles it then. Now, there are already a few visitors at the shrine. Make sure you take good care of them. I know what I'm doing. Ooh, she marched off quickly. It's so cold. Hold on now. Would you like to be a shrine maiden for a day as well? <laughs> it's my shrine. If I say you're qualified, then you're qualified. Besides, can you really bear the thought of leaving her here all by herself? So you'll stay and keep her company, yes? Don't worry, you'll both receive ample compensation for your trouble. It'll be quite worth the wait. Especially yours, I assure you. <laughs> Should I take the risk, or... Huh? Who are you? You're Shrine Maidens? They sure dress different these days. I suppose this is the Grand Narukami Shrine, after all. I came across a potential business opportunity recently. They say that by financing an overseas merchant ship, you can make a 40% profit on your investment in three months. Several of my friends have already received their returns, and want me to go in with them on a bigger investment. For some reason, I was feeling a little unsure about it, so I thought I'd come to the shrine and see what the great Narukami thinks. But the fortune slip I drew is neither positive nor negative. I'm at a loss on what to make of it. Most of the fortune slips in the shrine are pretty ambiguous. Could it be that... Our god wants me to come back and draw another slip tomorrow, and if the same happens again, then maybe the day after that? If you have all that time to draw slips, why not spend it on learning more about this merchant ship instead? I've heard of a scam where people make up a bogus investment and promise high returns in a short period. In reality, they just use the new investors' money to pay existing investors their profits. Once people see the early investors making their money back, scores of other investors jump on the bandwagon, and then one day the people behind it just pack up and leave with the money. Oh gosh, come to think of it, they haven't given me any specifics about the shipping route or itinerary. By saying it's overseas and being economical with the details, they can filter out the folks who actually take the time to do their due diligence. It's another common tactic used by many scammers. Wow, is that true? Praise be to the Narukami! Clearly she has been watching over me amidst my confusion. Thankfully I hadn't agreed to anything yet. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, Shrine Maiden. Now that I think about it, I remember receiving similarly sound advice at this shrine in the past. That shrine maiden is long gone now, though. It's a real pity. Really? What a shame. But anyway, shouldn't you be getting back now to warn your friends? Oh, goodness, yes. I'll go and warn them all right away. Here's hoping he manages to stop his friends in time. <laughs> right. There's another visitor. Let's see what he wants. Huh. It seems even a change of scenery won't get the creative juices flowing. Uh, who are you? Shrine Maidens. Huh. I guess I could give that a try. Oh! This was the chief editor's idea? Then no wonder it's so... novel. <laughs> Uh, I, on the other hand, am all out of ideas. So I came to the shrine to pray for inspiration. Well, 
Has it worked? N not so far. I guess I wasn't sincere enough or something. But I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm sure I'll stir the heart of our god eventually. Have you ever thought about going traveling? Inspiration comes from life experience. The more places you go, the more people you meet, the more you'll have to share with your readers. It's natural to run out of new material when you're in the same place doing the same things every day. That's true. I haven't gone out exploring in a long time. Actually, ma'am, you look very familiar. Have we met before, here in the shrine? No, you must be mistaking me for someone else. Lack of social contact can easily lead to a deterioration in facial recognition abilities. Seriously? Oh, man. That's it. I'm packing my bags right away. Time to go traveling. <laughs> oh, that thing I said about facial recognition? Probably depends on the individual. Anyway, forget that. We have a new visitor. Let's go greet them. Uh, please, wait a moment, ma'am. Uh, we'll work something out for you as soon as possible. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to rush. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, perfect. This lady's granddaughter is going abroad soon, and she'd like to give her an omamori before she leaves. Unfortunately, we just ran out. Could I trouble you to make some more? You should be able to find the brocade bags and knots on both sides of the shrine. For the paper slips that go inside, just ask Maki. Um... I don't think I need to go into detail on how to write the blessing and put it all together. No, I can handle the rest. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Thank you, dear. Great. I'll take her to wash her hands first. We'll see you in front of the sacred Sakura when you're ready. Ah, thank you all so very much. May the great Narukami bless you. Brocade bags, check. So this is where the knots are. You need paper slips for Omomori blessings? I have a few right here. Oh, but I'm afraid I don't have a pen. Don't worry, I got it. That's everything. Let's go give it to the lady. There you are. Is the Omamori ready? Almost. I just need to write the blessing. One second. Here, ma'am. Please, come and pray over here. Oh, great Narukami. Please watch over my granddaughter and keep her safe on her journey. Ugh. This is a job for a real shrine maiden like Inagi. I wouldn't be suited to it. There are some things that mortals are powerless to control. Sometimes praying to the gods is the only thing people can do. Not to mention that the Omamori will mean a lot to our granddaughter. Maybe it'll encourage her to stay safe on her travels? So in terms of the outcome, it's beneficial. The only people I can't stand are the ones who don't think for themselves and at least try to solve their own problems. By relying on the gods for everything, all they're doing is neglecting themselves and those around them. No, that has nothing to do with it. The reason I don't want to be a shrine maiden is that I don't enjoy it. But enough about that. It looks like they've just about finished, I think. Let's go over there and say our goodbyes. Thank you ever so much. When my granddaughter returns next year, I promise to bring her here so we can pay our respects together. You're welcome, ma'am. Make sure to watch your step on the way down. I will, I will. 
Don't you worry now, I've walked this path many a time before. Oh yes, I don't believe I've thanked you yet, have I? Thank you for the Omamori. I'll make sure that my granddaughter keeps it with her. <sighs> You're welcome. Just doing my job. <laughs> it's been a long time since we last met each other at this shrine, hasn't it? So, you finally came back? Huh? Uh, I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Oh, really? Well... Perhaps my hearing isn't as good as it used to be. Although this is very strange, you sound exactly like another shrine maiden I remember. She didn't talk much, but I remember her voice very well. Oh, anyway, I hope I can hear your voice again when I return with my granddaughter next year. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, you're right. I once did a stint here as a trainee shrine maiden. It was arranged by my family. Unfortunately, I have no happy memories of that period. I just remember the way my family would nag me about etiquette and remembering the rules every time I left the house. And how they'd interrogate me every time I got back from the shrine to check that I'd been on my best behavior and hadn't upset any visitors. Not once did I get a simple, have a nice day, or welcome back. <sighs> I couldn't take it anymore, so I quit. I was determined to be anything but a shrine maiden. So I studied bookkeeping, worked as an editor for a while, even sat for some exams to qualify as a chef. I wear this mask to stop people from recognizing me, because I don't want them to pry into my personal affairs. Okay, enough chit-chat. It's time to report back to you-know-who. show today, both of you. It was so much fun to watch. <gasps> Would you be interested in continuing to work as Shrine Maidens? Or perhaps you'd like to work as editors at Yai Publishing House instead? It would be a terrible shame to let such fascinating individuals slip away out of my reach. Regrettably, I must decline, Lady Guji. The Shrine and Yai Publishing House are both fantastic places to work. They're just not for me. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Well, keeping you around under duress would only take all the fun out of it. Here, these are your wages as promised. Not a single more a short. Wages? No need, Lady Gucci. I'm here today to make amends. Oh, don't worry. I've already deducted the damages incurred by those boisterous boys from your amount. If you don't take the payment now, I'll be forced to send someone to deliver the package to the Arataki gang. Now, who should I send? Hmm... Miyuki, perhaps? <clears throat> no need to go to all that trouble, Lady Guji. I'll take it today. Good. How about you, little one? I trust you don't have any reason to refuse. That's more like it. Uh, one more thing. You mustn't open the package until after you leave the shrine. Otherwise, you will be cursed with bad luck. This should be far enough. She's always saying things like that. There's probably nothing in here but plain old Mora. Let's see. Yep, just Mora. Oh, wait, what the? It's nothing. I'm just surprised by the amount. The Shrine Maiden gig was surprisingly lucrative. Definitely not. No amount of Mora could make me enjoy that job. Let's see your share then. With no damages deducted, it should be even more, right? Huh, that's weird. It's just a single thin sheet. Wait, what are you laughing at?
as men th Well, hello there, little one. Oh, I see you brought a special guest. <clears throat> Lady Guji, I'm here to apologize on behalf of the Arataki gang. We will remove all the flyers and compensate the shrine appropriately for any damages. I hope Lady Guji can forgive their appalling behavior. Huh, so that's why you're here. Yes. That is a tricky situation. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine, after all. Ultimately, their actions here are tantamount to disrespecting the Shogun herself. So how about this? I've already assigned a Shrine Maiden to clear up your little flyers, so at this moment we are a little understaffed at the Shrine. You mentioned appropriate compensation. Perhaps you could fill in for this Shrine Maiden and greet visitors for the day, hmm? I'm afraid I have to refuse. Oh? Such a hasty refusal. Do you think that's wise? Goodness, who knows what Tenshukaku would make of this if they heard about it. I can't believe it. Oh? Dear me, don't you trust me? I'm heartbroken. <sighs> You're both impossible. Go on then, go lend a hand to the Shrine Maiden in charge of removing the flyers. You can have it your way. Take down all the flyers and that will be the end of it. Is that accommodating enough for you? I agree. This seems out of character for her. Still, getting rid of the flyer should be the Arataki gang's responsibility. Even if there's a catch to this, it can't be as bad as being a shrine maiden for the day. Thanks for sticking with me this far. You can leave the rest to me. Do we have an agreement? Well then, no backing out now. The shrine maiden I tasked with cleaning up is just outside the shrine. You'll know her when you see her. She is your sister, after all. Miyuki? Let's leave it there, shall we? Work hard now. <laughs> huh. So she still got me in the end. I hate to have to do this, but please stick with me for a little longer. Also, as of right now, you're chief advisor of the Arataki gang. I'm sorry, it's just... it's all a bit complicated. Uh, come on. Let's go outside and find her. <laughs> of course. Lady Yai personally assigned this task to me. Oh, it's you, Traveler. Long time no see. Lady Yai has instructed me to clean up all the flyers on the mountain. As for why someone would put these up at a shrine in the first place? Unbelievable. Who was behind it, I wonder? Huh? Who's that standing behind you? <clears throat> Miyuki? It's been a while. Shinobu! You... You... you finally decided to come back. Sorry, no. I'm here for other reasons. Oh, really? The whole family's worried about you. They might not always say the right thing, but deep down... I'm doing fine, and there's no need to worry about me. There. Just tell them that. I'm gonna need more to go on than that! What's this I've been hearing from visitors? That you've joined some sort of gang since returning from Liyue? That's not the worst of the rumors, either. As unlikely as it sounds, I have to ask. Shinobu, did you get tricked into this or something? 
I was just about to fill you in on that side of things. As it happens, the gang I work for, it's actually a legitimate international organization. Really? Shh. <clears throat> Our organization brings together the brightest talents from all over the world, including this traveler, for instance. A prominent figure in both Mondstadt and Liyue, who has recently joined us as our chief advisor. Wait! Lady Yai did mention something about a world-renowned traveler. So... that's you? That's right. A large part of the reason I traveled all the way to Liyue was for the opportunity to build contacts with these prominent individuals. I see. <laughs> well, that makes sense. So what is the name of this organization? Uh, the Arataki Gang. Ha. Huh. The Arataki Gang? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Wait. That's the name on these flyers! <clears throat> I can explain. That was all due to a marketing campaign gone wrong. We came to the shrine today to clear up the misunderstanding. <laughs> Our organization is relatively new to Inazuma, and one recurring issue we've had is people misinterpreting what we're about. So, we engaged a local marketing agency to help us communicate our ethos and philosophy more effectively. Unfortunately, something must have gotten misunderstood along the way because the results were quite a disaster. Although, the fault lies overwhelmingly with our partner agency in this case. As a responsible organization, we think we should be the ones to apologize and deal with the fallout. So, yeah, we can deal with this and you can go ahead and get back to the shrine. No way. This task was assigned to me by Lady Yai herself. Look, we can clean up together, can't we? Besides, I also want to hear all about this Arataki gang. <sighs> like she predicted my every move. <sighs> All right, fine. The flyers aren't particularly sticky. If we soften them up with water or loosen them up with wind, they'll probably peel right off. Stick it to the man. Join the Arataki gang. Uh, how do I put this? The artistic style of your marketing material is very... <clears throat> it's largely inspired by the abstract style, which is very popular in Mondstadt right now, and uh, also incorporates elements from Liyue's inkwash paintings. We paid Top Mora to hire a professional artist for this, and while the finished product is a little, um, avant-garde, that's exactly in line with the Arataki Gang's spirit of being fearlessly creative and radically disruptive. I, um... I see. Arataki numero uno ito, ousting his foes like a sumo supremo. This Arataki ito, is he your leader in Inazuma? I've heard a few rumors. <clears throat> Mr. Arataki is a pioneering genius and the face of our organization. Naturally, plenty of our competitors seek to smear him. Mr. Arataki is generous and easygoing by nature, and is reluctant to get bogged down with fighting spurious allegations. Plus, the fact that he is an Oni can make certain topics a little tricky to navigate. Nevertheless, we still reserve the right to sue for defamation if it comes to it. Really? Wow. That sounds tough. Brace yourself! The Arataki gang is filled with folks who talk the talk and walk the walk. It looks like there are some members mentioned on the back. Mamoru, Genta, Akira... Hold on. If your organization has so many members, how come you and the chief advisor had to come and apologize in person? Um, well, 
First and foremost, we wanted to convey our most heartfelt apologies to the Shrine and to Lady Guji. Secondly, the other members are dealing with more pressing issues. Right now, they're in talks with our external marketing team about this incident. Mamaru and the others have, um, far greater legal expertise and negotiating skills than I do, so they had to be the ones attending the talks. Wow. The Arataki gang managed to find staff even more qualified than you. Now that's impressive. All right. I think this area is looking good now. Let's head down the mountain. Mama, <clears throat> what are you doing here? Shinobu, we're so sorry. We've come to our senses now. We can't let you face the shrine alone. Even though we're still a little scared. Actually, I'm feeling a little weak in the knees. Hang in there, Akira. We gotta do this. We have to go and apologize to her in person. Huh. Akira. Don't worry about them, Yuki. Let's get down the mountain and clear up those flyers. It's all right, Shinobu. We've already gotten rid of all the flyers down there. Huh? You cleaned up already? But I thought Shinobu and the Traveler were the only ones who came... We came here as quickly as we could after we finished apologizing in the city. After all, this was all our fault. Mamoru, Genta, and I were the ones who came up with the idea of the boss designing his own flyers, and we were the ones who put them up all over town and got arrested for it. So, it just seems wrong to make Shinobu face that woman at the shrine all by herself. Mamoru and Genta? Arrested? The flyers were designed by the boss? Uh... What the heck is going on here, Shinobu? Does this mean that the rumors I heard are... True? Yes. Most of them, anyway. So, what happened? Did you get tricked into joining them? If the rest of the family hears about this, oh, goodness gracious! No. I joined of my own free will. It's not as spectacular as I was making it out to be. But I'm happy with what I'm doing. Go ahead and tell the family if you want. Tell them everything. I don't think being a member of the Arataki gang is anything to feel ashamed about. Even if you drag me back kicking and screaming, you know I'll only find a way to escape again. Uh-oh. I have a feeling we've messed up again. Is she going to turn Shinobu in? Hey! We're the ones who messed up the shrine! Shinobu had nothing to do with it! Where's that other lady? B bring her out! Go on! She'll... She'll convert what was all our fault! I'm at a loss for words, Shinobu. I really am. All right, all right. I promise I won't tell anyone at home. Don't worry. What? You're not a little kid anymore. And you're more widely traveled and have met more people than any of us. At the end of the day, it's your choice what you decide to do. And I have to say, the rumors do unnerve me a little bit, but... Look... They came here to support you, despite obviously being terrified of Lady Yai. Since you've chosen the Arataki gang, just promise me you'll do your best to make all the things you used to talk about come true. Oh, sis. What? What's going on here? I don't know, but it looks like... Maybe we don't need to get that terrifying lady to come and confirm our story after all. Oh. Besides... If even the Traveler has decided to join, then the future of the Arataki gang looks very bright, doesn't it? <clears throat> Chief Advisor, if you'd like to discuss the Arataki gang's future development, let's step to the side, please. All right then, Shinobu, we, uh, we'll go apologize then? Yeah, we better be quick, or... Not so fast. Ah! 
Last month, you almost got the fire brigade out when you were roasting lavender melons. Five days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? But we put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. No more excuses. You know, I had real plans at Uyu Restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah! Help! P -p please you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead. Are you serious? Shinobu, please calm down. Calm down! There we go. Huh. Huh. You got off lightly. I have more important things to do today. We'll finish this off tomorrow, is that clear? Huh? Tomorrow? Do we have to? Excuse me? Got it, got it. We'll, we'll leave you to your other plans. Hmph. Oh, why did you just stand there and watch? Don't you care about us at all? I guess that's true. And the longer she puts it off, the angrier she gets. But she said there'll be more to come tomorrow. Oh, if only Shinobu was busy tomorrow, too. Hmm. Hey, how about we hold her up somehow, so she still has things left to do tomorrow? Uh, that sounds kind of risky. If we end up sabotaging Shinobu's work, even Boss wouldn't be able to protect us. Would he? Yeah, if Shinobu ever found out it was us... <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. No way! We won't do anything bad! We're just gonna go and have a look and, you know, hold things up if it's possible. <clears throat> I, I mean, we can't just sit here and do nothing, can we? If you don't trust us, why don't you come and watch? Uh, you know, to keep an eye on us. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with just taking a look. Who knows? Maybe it'll give us some other ideas. Also, if the Traveler's there, we can probably talk our way out if we get discovered. Um, okay then. From what Shinobu was just saying now, she should be heading to the Uyu restaurant. Let's quietly follow her and just see how it goes. <laughs> Looks like they're not on the first floor. Maybe they're upstairs. Uh, are you sh This is Miss Kuki Shinobu, whom I've recommended to you before. Hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kuki Shinobu. I studied law in Liyue, so while I couldn't claim to be an expert, I do have a rudimentary grasp of the basics. <laughs> From what I've heard, Miss Kuki, I'm sure you're being very modest. I'm looking forward to working together. I can assure you that she is exceptionally capable. All the doshin from the police station have vouched for her abilities. Well, with such a glowing endorsement, I'm almost tempted to ask you if you'd like to start right away, Miss Kuki. You flatter me, Madam Norika. But perhaps we can discuss the role in detail over our meal before deciding how well I'm suited to the role. Oh, forgive me for getting ahead of myself. You're quite right, Miss Kuki. Let's continue this discussion as we dine, or the food will get cold. <laughs> it's quite understandable to be hungry for top talent. Akira, Genta, did you hear that? Is Shinobu at a job interview? And look who it's with, the Tenryo Commission Tengu. Never thought I'd see that self-important Tengu acting so polite. Who's that other woman they're with? Some big shot official? Well, duh! That Tengu is the Shogunate's general, so that other lady has got to be someone ridiculously high up. 
Well, whoever it is, it looks like Shinobu is going to take a new job with the Shogunate. You heard him. The job's practically hers already. But without Shinobu, what's going to happen to the Arataki gang? We gotta do something! Quick, let's go tell the boss! He should be looking for Oni Kabuto nearby! That's just like Erika. Always refining her craft. Bad news, boss! Really bad! Whoa, hey, hey! What's with the panic vibes, huh? This is the Arataki gang, remember? It ain't bad news till we show up, am I right? <laughs> so come on, what's up? It's Shinobu. She... She... Shinobu's gonna go work for the Tengu! What? Shinobu found a new job? You have got to be kidding me! No, it's true, boss. We saw her at the interview with our own eyes, didn't we? Uh, that slimy... I knew that Tengu had her greedy eyes on Shinobu. I mean, she's obviously jealous of the Arataki gang's top-class talent, but now she's trying to poach my people? Ah, that thieving Tengu! But they're already asking her for a start date! It's in the bag. The interview is clearly just a formality. <laughs> well, based on my experience of interviewing once every three days, I know for a fact that they will have been plotting this for a long time by now. Oh, there is no way she... Well, actually, you know what? You could be right. She does get treated pretty well in the Arataki gang. I mean, every time we win some snacks, she does get first pick. But I heard that a day's salary in the Shogunate is enough to buy a week's worth of snacks for the whole gang. Yeah, but still, in the Arataki gang, we have a more relaxed working environment, don't we? Seriously, have you ever seen that Tengu smile? No! She always has that same sour look on her face. <laughs> but we seem to be the only ones who are relaxed, no? Every time we get caught, Shinobu's the one who has to come and get us out. Do you think maybe, after we got arrested for posting flyers this time, Shinobu finally had enough? Wait, so it's not a misunderstanding then? It's all our fault! We made Shinobu angry and now she's found a new job! Boss, what are we gonna do? Without Shinobu, the Arataki gang won't survive! All right, you guys, uh, come with me. We'll, we'll go door to door and apologize, and we'll, uh, we'll tear down all the flyers. What? Uh, but boss, it took you months to make those. Don't you think I know that? I know what it took. I... <sighs> we have to show Shinobu we're truly sorry, and this is, <sighs> it's the only way. Boss. <laughs> Also, I need you to do something for me. Go find Shinobu and tell her you want an interview. If you tell Shinobu that you want to join us, suddenly she'll have a whole different outlook on the future of the Arataki gang. With you and Shinobu as my trusty number twos and Arataki numero uno Ito running the show, we'd be unstoppable. The Shogunate would have a tough time competing with us then, huh? Whoa, nice one, boss. The Arataki gang rules! What do you say, partner? Haha, <laughs> okay! I'll leave you nobody you then. Boys, we've got some apologies to make. Alright then. You can expect us to be in touch very soon to follow up, Miss Kuki. It's getting late. I should get back. 
I hope that the next time we meet, we'll be at the headquarters of the Tenryo Commission. Thank you. I'm truly honored. Huh? When did you get here? Huh? Whatever. What did you want? Ugh, have Genta and the guys caused a scene again? An interview. You want to join the Arata? for the whole posting flyers incident. Oh, <laughs> that. Don't worry about it. Your boss and his pals already came to apologize. Not only did they take down all the flyers, they cleaned up the shop for me, too. Wait, are you sure that was the Arataki gang? Did the leader have horns on his head? <laughs> sure did. Ah, it looks like at long last, they've turned over a new leaf. How is this possible? I find this all very hard to believe. Let's head to Tsukumomono Groceries. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. What can I do for you? Sorry, Miss Aoi. I'm here on behalf of the Arataki gang regarding the incident with the flyers. Oh, the flyers? A bunch of guys came by and cleaned them up already. They also kept loudly proclaiming that they were gonna compensate me in full if it was the last thing they did. This whole thing really wasn't a huge deal, so I told them that if they really wanted to make it up to me, they could just buy something from the shop. They huddled together and discussed it for a while, and in the end they bought the most expensive item in the store, even though all four of them had to empty their pockets to get enough mora. What the... Have they really had a change of heart? There's one more person we need to apologize to. Let's go. Hey! Girl in the mask! Guess what? The guy with the horns came to see me, and he gave me back all the snacks he won off me yesterday. <laughs> wow, did he? Well, I also brought some snacks. You can take them, too. Then you'll have extra in case they come to play cards with you again. <laughs> no need. They promised they're never gonna take my snacks again. Is this really the same Arataki gang I know? No, I have to see it with my own eyes. Huh? Look, they're down there right now! It's really them! Hey, are you posting flyers again? No, no, we're innocent! We're cleaning them up! <laughs> you Tenryo Commission types. Maybe if you opened your eyes, you'd see that people can change. Ever think of that? Playing the blame game before you even understand the situation. <sighs> no wonder you're always catching the wrong people. <clears throat> Sorry, Doshin. Please don't mind them. They're just a little overexcited. <sighs> Shinobu and the Traveler. We're saved! I know how preposterous it sounds, but they have in fact been cleaning up the flyers. Numerous witnesses in this area can attest to that. 
But I just heard about a street gang who've been reported for posting flyers. And look at this thing. This is clearly the guy with the horns. Even the expression is identical. Oh, <laughs> turns out this Tenryo blockhead's a real art connoisseur. Yeah, really captures my style, doesn't it? So, you admit it then? <laughs> right, that's it. You're coming with me to the police station. Wait, please. I can explain. Uh, what's going on? So sorry, Madam Norika. I'm just stopping some hooligans from posting flyers. We already told you we are innocent. Are, are you even listening? You've been detained at the police station for graffiti countless times. You're really trying to tell me you're an innocent man? Well, Oni, but that's beside the point. It's different this time, I, I swear! Doshin, this is Miss Kuki, a business partner of mine. I can vouch for her honest and forthright character. If her friends have done anything wrong, she will not hide it. Perhaps we could hear her out first? After all, since we're going to be working together in a few days, it would be a shame to let something like this come between us, don't you think? Working together? Oh, you mean the thing Madame Kujo Sara briefed us on? Understood. We will hear your explanation. <sighs> all right. <sighs> I see. So, you did post the flyers, but then you did the responsible thing and came back to clear them up. It seems I jumped to conclusions on this occasion. Please, accept my apologies. No apology needed. We know how much trouble we've created for you in the past. <sighs> well, I'm glad to see that the misunderstanding is resolved. Well, I will see you soon. I hope we can work together effectively. Uh, most certainly, ma'am. Boss! Did you hear what they said? This means Shinobu has already made her decision? Yep, looks like it's time for us to make a decision, too. Move to the backup plan! Guys, chill! What are you up to now? Shinobu, thank, thank you, you for everything. everything! Hey, what's this all about? <clears throat> Shinobu, this is a parting gift from all of us in the Arataki gang. We all pitched in and bought you this from Tsukumomono Groceries. We know it's nothing compared to your salary in the Shogunate, but... A Nakuweed bracelet? What am I supposed to do with this? Shinobu, don't forget about us when you're in the Tenryo Commission. We'll all try and be better people, and better Oni. We promise to stay out of trouble and not make your job difficult. Wait, who said I'm leaving? Also, Shinobu, when you couldn't find your snacks last week, the truth is, I ate them. And last month, I stole that toy we won, and when you came and asked me for it, I, I, I lied, and I told you it was broken. <laughs> <sighs> hey, no crying. We talked about this. Send her off with a smile, all right? Who are we? We're the... The Arataki gang. Shinobu is moving on to better things. We should be happy for her. <laughs> You're right. You're right, boss. <laughs> the Arataki gang rolls! <laughs> hey, don't you start too. Oh, is this the Arataki gang you mentioned, Miss Kuki? What an interesting group of people. Yes, sorry for making a scene. Mm, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Norika. A merchant who does business between Inazuma and Liyue. Recently, I've been negotiating a business deal with the Tenryo Commission regarding medical supplies. <laughs> huh? A merchant? Wait, so you're not a shogunate official? Of course not. I'm just a merchant. I was lucky enough to secure exclusive sales rights for some new first aid supplies from Bubu Pharmacy recently. So I thought I would ask the Tenryo Commission if they would be interested in establishing a long-term supply relationship. Injuries are a regular occurrence in the army, after all. Cross-border trade is a complicated affair, but fortunately, Madame Kujo Sara was able to bring in a legal consultant proficient in the laws of both nations. Oh, you mean Shinobu? That's right. Thanks to Miss Kuki, our negotiations went very smoothly. The rest of the process will probably take another 10 to 15 days. After that, I will have to borrow Miss Kuki from you again for a while. 
I can definitely spare the time. So long as these guys stay out of trouble. Ah, uh, yes. I have a little compensation for you all. Here, some trial packs of our new supplies. Miss Kuki tells me that you often find yourselves in injury-prone situations. I heartily recommend our product. This is unexpected. So she's really a merchant? <laughs> oh, you guys! I knew you must have gotten the wrong idea. Shinobu would never quit. <laughs> Look at all this fuss you made over nothing. <sighs> Planning a whole leaving ceremony. Uh, but wasn't the backup plan your idea, boss? Um, <laughs> all right, well, if we're done here, I'm gonna head to Sukumamono Groceries and see if they'll let me return the bracelet. Wait up, boss! We'll come with you! Hold it right there. Uh. Last week's snacks, last month's toy. What else aren't you telling me? Oh, uh, the thing is, you see... You've all got your new first aid supplies. Don't you want to test them out? Run, run, run! All right then, Shinobu, we, uh... We'll... go apologize then? Yeah, we better be quick, or... Not so fast. Ah! Last month, you almost got the fire brigade out when you were roasting lavender melons. Five days ago, you angered the whole neighborhood by hosting the great sing-along in the middle of the night. And today, you go plastering flyers all over town. How many times will you have to be arrested before this stops? But we put up those flyers to tell everyone how great the Arataki gang is. No more excuses. You know, I had real plans at Uyu Restaurant today. But it looks like you guys need a little slap on the wrist first. Ah! Help! P -p please you don't want to do this. You could have just left us in jail instead! Don't feel sorry for them. They need to learn their lesson. Really? Rules? You're saying we should lay down some rules for the guys? It's true. Having a clear set of regulations and penalties could help establish behavioral norms for our members. Is that really why I can never get them to change? Because the Arataki gang doesn't have any written rules and regulations? Hey, are you getting this? What do they mean? I'm not sure, but it sounds like it doesn't involve us getting beaten up. Hmm, let me think about it. The Arataki Gang Handbook. St study They're not gonna make us memorize a whole book, are they? No way! I took the beating over that! Hey guys, Shinobu seems distracted. Maybe we should slip away while we can! Yes, if we can make them learn the rules by heart, it's sure to have some amount of influence on their behavior. But knowing what they're like, to really get it into their heads, I'll have to assign plenty of homework assignments and give them pop quizzes each day. Huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> well, given that this way is Tenshukaku and the police station, you can bet they'll have fled in the opposite direction. Who knows what chaos they'll cause next if we leave them to their own devices? I'm gonna need your help. Let's catch these kids before they do something stupid. Huh? That's the owner of Isa Bathhouse. What's he looking at? What was that? Thank you. 
I was just doing some cleaning when I suddenly heard a loud noise outside. I got to the door just in time to see a shadowy figure disappear up that tree. This is a busy street. Surely it wouldn't be a burglar, would it? Come on, get up. What are you crouching there for? Ah, Shinobu, what are you doing up here? Hey, what do you think you're doing climbing up on someone else's roof? Oh, sorry. Coming down. Uh, if you're gonna horse around, fine. But you have to know when to rein it in, okay? It's darn lucky you didn't break any roof tiles. Otherwise, I'd have to close the place down while I get it fixed. S sorry We're very sorry. I will be much stricter with him in the future. If, on closer inspection, you do find any damage, please come to Hanamizaka and ask for me. The Arataki gang will bear the cost of repairs. <sighs> it's okay. All's well that ends well. It's just, if you carry on like this, causing mischief day after day, night after night, sooner or later accidents are gonna happen. I can see that you're a reasonable person. For your own sake, find a way to keep your subordinates in line. I will. Thank you for understanding. For the sake of both the Arataki gang and the community, I will get them to start behaving themselves as a matter of urgency. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do better, we promise. Listen carefully. From now on, you must strictly abide by the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang. Gang bylaws Article 1. Do not damage other people's property. In case of violation, the member shall compensate the victim for their full losses, including the cost of repairs, lost business hours, and, depending on the situation, compensation for emotional distress. If the offending member cannot immediately afford to pay the compensation, the Arataki gang will extend to the member a loan for the full sum, on the condition that they take on paid employment and repay the loan within an agreed time period, including interest, of course. As a further security, all of the offending members' gang assets, including Oni Kabuto and Genius Invocation TCG cards, will be frozen until the loan is repaid in full. No, no, I'm sorry, I get it now, I promise. Good, then no more violations in the future. Now, where are Genta and Akira? Uh, boss said that a fellow gang member is a brother from another mother, and we should never betray the brotherly bond. If they violated the gang bylaws and you're withholding knowledge of their whereabouts, you'll be punished as an accomplice along with them. Hanabizaka! They went to Hanabizaka! I saw it with my own eyes. <sighs> Let's go. I hope they haven't caused any trouble. Shinobu, you can see I've learned my lesson for real this time. So maybe... Shut up and get a move on. If you try and run away again, You'll only have yourself to blame for the consequences. Why are you still hiding here? Come on out! Oh! Uh... I... Shinobu! Whoa! The guy who stole our spot! He came out! <sighs> Sorry, we're coming up. I, I, I'm sorry! I shouldn't have stolen your spot. Well, at least not without a fair fight first. Um, let me make it up to you. As punishment, I'll play a game of Genius Invocation with you. Huh? Cool, count me in! In the Arataki gang, the victor shares the spoils. No, wait! Brothers share our burdens! So, uh, punish us together! Uh, I don't know, maybe not. It's so noisy over here. The grown-ups will definitely find us. 
If they find out that we came out to play cards before finishing our homework, we'll never be allowed to play again. Besides, if we never do our homework and play Genius Invocation all the time, we'll probably turn into big losers when we grow up. Huh? Seriously? Y you mean like this guy? Oh, brother. Quick, let's get back and do our homework! Hey, you little rascals! Stop. Leave them alone. They're just kids. Gang Bylaws Article 2. No bullying of small children. Bylaws? What are they? Never mind that. Just listen. Violators must give a sincere and unreserved apology to the victim and make amends. Until such a time as the victim forgives the violator, they will be banned from participating in all gang activities, including Lavender Melon Roasting Sessions, The Great Sing-Along, Oni Kabuto Battles, and Genius Invocation TCG. No! Don't pretend to be the victim here. Tell me, where is Akira? Uh, boss said that homies are family, and family don't rat each other out. Especially not to Shinobu. Go on. He was heading out of the city. I saw him with my own eyes. When Shinobu gives me the look, I react automatically. I can't control it. <clears throat> As members of the Arataki gang, we brothers share our burdens. If that means getting taught a lesson, then we take it as a team. Out of the city? <sighs> a doshin from the police station told me that things have been getting pretty rough out there recently. Let's go. Hopefully we can catch up with him. Hey, uh, how did Shinobu find me so quickly? Mamoru, did you? Oh jeez, I'm just so worried about Akira, you know? He could be in real trouble. Quick, we gotta catch up with him. I swear, I've never known a carrot to run so fast before. I can't keep going. I think I'm actually gonna die. Ugh. I heard from the police station about a group of Kairagi on the prowl outside the city. Well, anyway, the best we can do is find him as soon as possible. There's a lot of terrain to cover here. I think we might have to split up. I'll get Mamoru and Genta somewhere safe and tell them to stay put. Then, I'll go south, you go north. Thanks. I wonder if I can hide in this box. Huh? Ah! Sonobu! Please, have mercy! Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. <laughs> I closed my eyes and just ran and ran. Then I tripped and fell, and this is where I ended up. And what do you know? It's the perfect hiding place. It even comes with these huge boxes. If I can squeeze myself inside one of them, Shinobu will never find me. Ugh, don't sell me out. Boss said our gang is our clan and... Oh, nice. So you know how we roll. <laughs> anyway, please, help me empty out one of these boxes. Kairagi? Wait a second. This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding. Hmm. Even if it's not, I still feel like I'd rather face a bunch of Kairagi than an angry Shinobu. I ran so far this time, Shinobu's gonna be furious with me. Yeah, I think I'd better stay in hiding for a while. You will? How do I know you mean that? I, 
guess with you there, maybe Shinobu really will let me off this time. Okay, I'll come with you. I'm putting my life in your hands here. Shinobu? I finished searching the south and noticed you hadn't returned, so I came to see what was up on your end. Looks like I was just in time. Help me! You promised! Relax, I'm not going to do anything. Shinobu, spare me! I, I... Huh? Did I hear you right? We go through this song and dance every day. Even an omnipresent god would have a tough time keeping track of you all. Besides, even when I teach you a lesson, it's not long before you're up to your usual antics again. <laughs> In the Arataki gang, we call that being too legit to quit. From now on, we will be using the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang as the new disciplinary tool. I've got the basics thought out already. Once it's finished, it'll be time for class. Mamaru and Genta are waiting for you at Hanamizaka. You can make a study group and test each other on the rules. Wait, what? Are you serious? Help! Uh, I'm a member of the Arataki gang! I ain't about to waste my life studying and doing homework! I'm out of here! Huh? Gang Bylaws Article 3! Insubordination shall be punished by making the member recite all the bylaws from memory! <laughs> John Doe was playing cards with a child. When he lost the game, he got angry and proceeded to steal his opponent's cards. Which article of the gang bylaws did John Doe violate? You kidding me? He was mad about losing, so he robbed a kid? Which gang is this John Doe punk from? We gotta go teach him a lesson. Yeah, everyone knows don't hate the player, hate the game. Who does this clown think he is? Just answer the question. Also, John Doe is just a hypothetical character. Ah, welcome to the class. Pretty difficult to say so far. But at least the punishments I use in class will get them spending their energy on something meaningful. If it keeps them out of trouble, I'll consider it a win. You'll see very shortly. Hey, have you got an answer for me yet? Um, the one about not bullying children. That's the second one, right? But then it also kind of fits damaging property? Which is the first? How about I answer Article 1 and you answer Article 2? One of us has got to be right, so at least we won't get punished as hard. All right, Shinobu, we've decided... Wrong! John Doe violates both Articles 1 and 2 of the gang bylaws, and the additional notes to Article 2, Clause 36 also apply in this case. As for your punishment, each of you must write out all the relevant rules in full three times. No. I wonder if I can hide in this box. Huh? Ah! Sonobu! Please, have mercy! Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. <laughs> I closed my eyes and just ran and ran. Then I tripped and fell, and this is where I ended up. And what do you know? It's the perfect hiding place. Even comes with these huge boxes. If I can squeeze myself inside one of them, Shinobu will never find me. Ah, uh, don't sell me out. Boss said our gang is our clan, and <clears throat> well, friends should look out for each other too. Anyway, please help me empty out one of these boxes. 
Kairagi? Wait a second. This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding. Hmm. Even if it's not, I still feel like I'd rather face a bunch of Kairagi than an angry Shinobu. I ran so far this time, Shinobu's gonna be furious with me. Yeah, I think I'd better stay in hiding for a while. Thanks. Why is there so much stuff in here? It's so cramped! Ah, shoot, there goes the flyers! <sighs> Finally made it. But now there are flyers everywhere. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Can you go back and see what Shinobu's up to? I need to figure out how long I need to lie low before she calms down. Did you find anything? That's too bad. My search didn't turn anything up either. I just spoke to a doshin. Apparently, the Kairagi are smuggling some supplies and they've hidden them in this area. They could come back at any moment to collect them. I just hope Akira doesn't run into them. I'm told they're stored in a few wooden boxes. What's wrong? You have this really weird look on your face right now. Wait, what? Never mind, let's go. Is this the place? No boxes and a whole bunch of footprints. We got here just too late. They can't have been gone for long, and with the supplies weighing them down, they couldn't have gotten far. Let's follow the footprints. Uh, beyond this point, there are weeds everywhere. Wait, is that one of the flyers they made? probably ended up... in the sea? You idiot! You've ruined everything! Ugh! And you've stuck these hideous flyers all over the box! What do you take us for, huh? Nothing! I mean, I didn't mean anything! Our deal can't go ahead now. You are going to pay for this! Ah! Wait! You better not mess with me! I'm... I'm from the Arataki Gang! Come again? The Arataki Gang! Never heard of it. You don't want to get on the wrong side of my boss. Even the general of the Shogun Army doesn't dare to challenge him. A and Shinobu, too. She's got connections all over Inazuma and Liyue. A and... and... you're here! And Shinobu... <laughs> so you're the Shinobu he's talking about, huh? Well, I don't know if I believe a word this little brat says. So tell me this. If you're really such a big shot, why do you hang out with this nobody? In the Arataki Gang, nobody's a nobody. Listen and learn. Gang Bylaws Article 3. When one of us is in trouble, all of us come to their aid. Bylaws? Do we even have those? We do now. <laughs> You asked for it! Shinobu, watch out! Let's get down to business! Stabilize! I will have order! Yahoo! Lightly. 
There is no escape! Inazuma shines eternal! Time to go! I, I didn't know they were going to give them to the Fatui! Goner for sure. So these Kairagi were just pawns of the Fatui. Didn't see that coming. If we pass this information to the Tenryo Commission, it might go a long way towards making up for our past crimes. Huh? Shinobu, you mean I did something good this time? <laughs> In terms of the result, yes. Ah, <sighs> that was a close call. However, in terms of the process, you're a member of the Arataki gang, and you're out of breath just from fighting a handful of Kairagi and Fatui. Making up for our past crimes is one thing, but you really need some more hands-on training. Sh Shinobu! Shinobu, no! Help! 